this is a good fit between risk-based testing and iterative life cycles in the sense that the iterative life cycles also talk about building things in, in risk order, at least in order of importance, and so it's you know, very consistent with testing in that order. Agile being the extreme examples of iterative, very, very short iterations, two to four weeks, and very lightweight documentation. So what you would do is a small risk analysis at the beginning of the iteration, or sprint if you're following Scrum, and uh, risk analysis would be driven into the unit testing as well. You want to make sure that you've got automated unit tests for the particularly high risk areas. And the risk-based testing is a good fit for the Agile methodologies because Agile is very much emphasizes being able to accommodate change. And you can accommodate change in risk-based testing because if something drops out, the risks related to it drop out and thus the tests drop out, right? If something is modified, we just modify the risks, we adjust the tests and so forth. So the risk analysis and reanalysis is a good vehicle for accommodating change.